Bradford just does not look very sharp early on. There's a flag down the field, and this could be pass interference against Philadelphia. It is. It's a huge for this defense with Babin and Cole on the outside. Well, all we heard about was Lance Kendricks and all the the great days he was having in training camps. That's two drops in his NFL debut. That's just rookie nerves right there. This kid is, this is the leading receiver in the history of the University of the Philadelphia Eagles. It's uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. Fake the end around. What a play fake. And look into the end zone. And it's overthrown. There's contact. How about the play action fake there by Bradford? Asamoah and Asante Samuel locked up with Gibson in the end zone. And you watch here, I don't know that Asante Samuel, or excuse me, Asamoah needed to grab like this. I'm not sure this thing wasn't overthrown. I'm not sure Asamoah didn't give up a cheap one there. He had 27 yards. We talked about the pressure that Dick has been under a lot of today. That one batted in the end and through the hands of Samuel. But then all of a sudden, the numbers can sometimes get skewed when McCoy goes his last three carries for 77 yards. So has it been a good day for the offensive line up until the last run? It takes run? a while to warm up. Sometimes the line, particularly a new line coming together, takes a little while to warm up. First time they tried to stretch the field, and it's a completed pass to Brandon Gibson. Boy, nice, nice stretch. Now we'll watch how he tries to maintain control all the way to the end. Yeah, that's a legal catch. The Giants like to get pass rushers on the field. Bradford has time, takes a shot downfield, and it's caught by Denario Alexander, who was not whistled down, stays on his feet, goes all the way to the one. What a throw by Sam Bradford on third and ten. Laid it down the field. Had Alexander on the left side. Looks down. Holds the safety. Now he knows once again. There's Aaron Ross who I spoke about a moment ago. He is the defender that the Rams will target today. Strain quad. Steven Jackson. Six straight thousand yard rush seasons. He's out tonight. Danny Amendola, wide receiver. Dislocated left elbow. 90 catches. He's their Wes Welker type guy. It's so many combined yards. He's out tonight. So the Rams come in without their top runner, their tap pass catcher. Bradford first down. Sam's throw is complete. Guys stepping up so far. Brandon Gibson in front of Corey Webster for a first down. And Sam Bradford is one of the best quarterbacks in the league outside the pocket. For the Rams to back up Steven Jackson. Bradford, another throw, another wide open. Brandon Gibson into Giant territory. At the 46-yard line, gain of 19. Oh, I love this tempo the Rams are using. It's green light tempo. They're getting up. They're calling a play, and they're off down. Giants have player confusion. Bradford snaps it quick and fires toward the tight end, caught by Lance Kendricks, who goes out of bounds at the 15-yard line. That's caught him for 26. Excuse me, Mike. That's what you want to see from Kendricks. He redeems himself. He dropped a couple balls last week. That time he beats Webster on a high point fade. Quickly, let's watch him. 34. Oh, wait, we had two guys go down and in fake injuries. Yeah, I hate to say that. Wow. He's not the Giants go to the Eagles place down I-95 next week. Sam Bradford first and 10. Nobody open, so he's thrown now as he waits is Mike Sims Walker across midfield and into Giants territory. So good patience by Bradford to wait for a man to get open. This Rams passing attack is now down the field. A year ago, it was more West Coast dink and dunk. Now under Josh McDaniel, they're looking for the big explosive play down the field. Bradford taking his shots. Thirty-one. Bradford play pass and open in the middle for the first down with Brandon Gibson, who was near midfield and then taken back by the Giants' defense. But nice keeping it. Good intro roll. Well, these hard run actions have killed the Giants. That's the fifth explosive twenty-yard gain or more for this Ram offense. Oh, 
From the 49, Bradford. Time of that boot. Pass is short. Intended for Michael uh, Oh Mawanui. Ma 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 <laughs> oh, darn. Hey, uh oh Mawanui. Uh oh Mawanui. Uh oh, here are the first half numbers. Uh, the stats. From the first 30 minutes, the, the plays were similar, and the Rams had more of an effective time moving the ball, especially via the air, as you'll see here in a second when the Giants were struggling. But those mistakes that John showed you a moment ago led to a couple of New York takeaways and 14 of their 21 points. Bradford back with a shot downfield. Denario Alexander brings it down. Caught a 68-yarder earlier. And Alexander, second year out of Missouri, with another big one on Aaron Ross. When Sam Bradford has time to throw the football, he'll find that isolation route. Once again, Alexander on Ross. Not a good jam by Ross. Alexander gets over the top. Another nice throw from Sam Bradford. Bradford's had success going down the field. On those passes of 10 yards or more from the line of scrimmage, he's 7 of 13 for 219 yards. They better find some quickly. Again, giant pressure, again picked up. Bradford toward Alexander, brings it down, keeps control, touchdown St. Louis. They had no answer for Denario Alexander tonight. That time a slant and go sluggo to the six foot five Alexander. He's gotten after Aaron Ross. Now he goes after Michael Coe. Sensational catch and a great throw by Bradford to give him a chance. Give him a chance, John. Meet me at the corner. Throw that ball toward that back pylon. Let Denario Alexander go up and make the catch. That rolls a first rounder. Webster's a second. They have the talent back here to make a play and end this game. Second and seven. Rams went no huddle with great pace early on. They moved it well. They've not really gone back to that at that pace. In the second half, Bradford's pass in and out of the hands of Mike Sims Walker. Rams desperately need a big play. Bradford throwing middle, caught. Mike Sims Walker was at the first down. Came back inside of it. Marker down back by the quarterback. Holding offense number 76. 10 yard penalty, second down. The scary thing for the Giants is those three guys you just mentioned have got 13 balls for 260 <laughs> yards tonight. And the Eagles, and guys running everywhere all over the field, await on Sunday at the link. Bradford, complete off the hands of the second round pick, Lance Kendricks. And it'll be fourth down. Against Arizona. So Pettis makes his first NFL reception, third round pick out of Boise State, second down and seven. The Blitz. His receiver fell. That will be picked off. Lardarius Webb at the three. Webb comes up with it. Intercepting the quarterback for the Rams. And a turnover right there. Everything going wrong for the Rams in this first half. Mario Alexander falls down and the ball is thrown up. Quarterback trusting the receiver. Picked off. Interception. The Rams are struggling. First and 25 for the Rams at the Baltimore 34. Cadillac back in. Here comes Suggs. And looking, he's got him. Touchdown, great catch, Brandon Gibson. And they will review automatically upstairs every scoring play. This is an incredible throw by Sam Bradford. I think he shows you everything he has on this throw. Rolling out to his right, moving out of the pocket, and great touch. Pinpoint precision on that throw. Two down and a touchdown. Just a wonderful throw. It was a good catch, but I love the throw from Sam Bradford. Three long touchdown passes by Flacco. All three to rookie Tony to, uh, Tory Smith. Here is a... First and ten pass, Bradford going deep, and he's got Gibson, who drops the ball. Working on Kerry Williams. That would have been a spectacular catch. Incomplete. Well, Gibson should have hauled this one in. Now watch how he'll momentarily just ease up. See, okay, now watch here. Okay, he stumbles. That's that what slowed it. him yep, up. Sure is. Slowed him up just a hair because I think he would have caught that one running into the end zone. But the little trip right there from Kerry Williams, who gives chase 
Look at that. Had it in his hands and couldn't control it after making contact with it. Cadillac Williams at the side of Brent. Oh, no! Going deep again. Webb was down there as he was watching the receiver, Denario Alexander out of Missouri. Seven from the 40 of Washington, trailing 7 0. Bradford Bates fires. Mike Sims Walker. Incomplete. Kevin Barnes was covered three times. They've gone to him three times, nothing. Well, and they get him in an isolation route down into the boundary. He's playing the weak side receiver, so he's over here down on the boundary. And you're going to see him take off. They're trying to get some safety help over the top. Look at this throw from Sam Bradford. That looked like it went over the shoulder of Kevin Barnes and hit Mike Sims Walker right in the hands. That's drop number 11, and that one would have been six. The Rams need to get points out of this, trailing 7 0. Bradford to throw, has time, completes in and out of the hands. He had it and couldn't hold on. It's another drop. Michael Human now a Nui. Bradford for Denario Alexander overthrown and it'll be fourth down for the Rams and again he got knocked down the most pressured quarterback the most hit quarterback when you include everything this season and the Redskins are 10 for the Rams Bradford and that is in and out of the hands of Lance Kendricks a catchable ball you know I mentioned what, what else can Bradford do? Well, if Bradford's getting rocked, too, in the pocket, I mean, he is hanging in there, hanging in there, knowing he's going to take a shot, waiting for his routes to develop downfield. And then while he's getting hit, he throws a good ball, and once again, it ends up on the turf. Not good news. On third and ten. Bradford hit again, throws incomplete. Kendricks, the intended receiver, and they were booing last week in the blowout home loss to Baltimore. And here comes Look at the some blood on his pants. Blues today. And he gets rocked in the hat here. Watch Cofield, who's going to work and then eventually get back inside here on Harvey Dahl. And he's going to go hat to hat, helmet to helmet on Sam Bradford. Bang. Third three and out today. And you haven't run into a coach, offense or defense, Tim, in the NFL who doesn't think Bradford is a star and is going to be a bigger star. He's such a terrific talent. But you got to let him play and help him out. Well, football is the ultimate team sport. you, you got to have ten guys on, on your team on the same page with you. That hasn't happened. Look at this. Look at where the heats come from. Eleven from the right, twelve from the left. And have gotten sacks from both sides. Where will it come from on third down? Bradford behind and incomplete. Lance Hendricks, the intended He's receiver. Horizontal and getting in on the play. Third and two. Pass caught and stepped out of bounds, but it's a completion. That's only their second third down conversion, and a flag comes in after the catch from Denario Alexander. And for those that tuned in late, the most pressured quarterback in the NFL is you're watching him, Sam Bradford. For Alexander, incomplete. Second down. Boy, he had him too as Josh Wilson fell down and he just overthrows it. Watch Bradford, he's going to drop back and you're going to see Sam. He's going to look out there, excuse me, to his left. And he just overthrows Denario Alexander. Puts a little more under that football. Tim Ryan, Chris Myers, and what can we expect on this fourth down? Well, I, I, Bradford's got to get protection. That, that's obvious. I, I'm curious to see what Jim Haslett does. Is he going to bring the house? Is he going to come with one of those heavy exotic pressures, or is he going to sit back and play coverage? Something tells me he'll sit back and play coverage as much as he's been bit by sending all the guys. Certainly they gave the touchdown up earlier, and that's exactly what they're doing. They got two deep safeties. Bradford needs to make a play. Fires a downfield and incomplete. Well, Ron Landry back there covering, and he went for the rookie, Austin Pettis. Limited targets on the field. And the Redskins will take over with 2-11. And one time out for each team. I don't think Lance Kendricks knew he was in the route and worthy of catching this football. I mean, he never turns He's to playing. locate the ball. He's out there playing something else, and Clay Matthews wants that one back. 
Mavericks play a little defense, and that's third and 11. Penalties, three already for the Rams, and put them in tough spots. Demario Alexander can't hold on. The Rams have dropped 13% of their throws, second most in the NFL. Boy, Sam Bradford has got to be frustrated. Everything lined up perfectly. They were able to pick up the blitz. Everybody in protection. The ball came out on time. Denario Alexander beat, beat the zone on the post route. Sam throws a perfect ball. And likely story for those Rams with wideouts right off his hand. Rams are going on fourth down. Watch Kendricks, the tight end, on that little pivot route. For Alexander, no. The Packers hold. No pressure or additional pressure. And Brandon Gibson has it for a first down across the floor. He came in as the Rams' leading receiver. And after a 21-yard game, Rams have two timeouts. For Salas, he holds on. Greg Salas with Tremont Williams back there. He has more catches in this game than any other receiver. That's his seventh grab. And after a gain of 19, the Rams move on for Steven Jackson to get the first down. Jackson at the top of the screen as a receiver. Bradford floats it. And did he hang on? Yes. That's Denario Alexander inside the 30 of the Packers. And first down. For Denario Alexander. Yeah, did he hang out in bounds? Yes. Nice bit of footwork over there by the big guy. Very nice, and they're taking advantage of Sam Shields being out. That's Jared Bush out there playing right corner for Sam Shields. As Dom Caper said, Jared Bush kind of the jack of all trades. And Bradford's looking left on that one-on-one -on -one matchup. Going deep down the sideline for Gibson. And it'll be second down for the Rams. That's what I'm talking about, out of sync. Brandon Gibson looked like he throttled it down, was expecting a back shoulder throw. Sam threw it over the top. He tried to step his foot back on the gas and speed back up and just could not get to the football. It's a good example of really what's played this passing game in terms of the deep vertical game this season. Steven Jackson now at the bottom of your screen. Is comfortable out there? He certainly looks comfortable. You can see that they're trying to get the ball out of his hands as well. This is a deep drop, steps up, throws, and completes to Gibson. Inside the Cardinals 35-yard line. Nice grab by Brandon Gibson. And nice movement in the pocket by Sam Bradford. Really nice movement. This shows you that this ankle must be feeling well because as Sam Bradford drops back on the play action, Josh McDaniels talks about this. Watch him move in the pocket, reestablish himself as a passer, and find Brandon Gibson across the middle of the field. Pickup of 22 on the block. The two tight ends in. Jackson back to Bradford on the flea flicker. And he throws deep down for Brandon Lloyd. And it is intercepted by Patrick Peterson. Peterson was step for step with Brandon Lloyd and out linked him for the football. The Rams tried the flea flicker and lined up in a double wing formation with three tight ends to the right hand side. Run the flea flicker here. It's a run down. Try to show the run. Steven Jackson pops back. Throws it back to Sam Bradford. At first, Brandon Lloyd actually got past Patrick Peterson. But watch here, he tries to lull him to sleep. Gets past him. But look at the speed of Patrick Peterson being able to keep up speed as he's looking for the football and make the play on the football. This guy has tremendous hands, Sam. He can really catch the football and loves first making First down plays. for the Rams at the 41. Off the play fake. Bradford gets time. Puts it up deep. And a little too far for Austin Pettis. Pettis, the rookie out of Boise State with good speed. 
So they're trying to stretch the field. They're taking a couple of shots down the field. Exactly what Josh McDaniels talked about. Hand the ball to Steven Jackson. Take our shots with play action pass. You're going to see the play action set up here with Sam Bradford. And Austin Pettis is really going to do a good job of splitting the coverage of the Arizona Cardinals. Watch him run his route here. You're going to see A.J. Jefferson, Adrian Wilson. He runs right through the double team on the post. They just weren't able to connect. Number four. And Steven Jackson, they pick up the blitz. Bradford took a hit and the pass incomplete flag on the play. Patrick Peterson can't believe it. He gets up. He was covering Brandon Lloyd on the play. Might be on Brandon Lloyd. He's shaking his head. Let's see. Prior to the pass, holding. Defense number 21. Five yard penalty and a first down. Patrick Peterson called on the hold on Brandon Lloyd. And here's a look at Peterson, a, a simple two man combination. You see Peterson on the inside with Brandon Lloyd. There's the grab. Yeah. The reason it was defensive holding was because the ball had been won. Thrown Bradford with a deep drop, throws wide of Brandon Lloyd. Only the fourth incompletion of the game for Sam Bradford. He's nine for 13, 90 yards, and has thrown one interception. Rams have 156 yards total offense, six, leading Arizona six to three. Bradford steps up, throws wide open Brandon Lloyd against Patrick Peterson. Lloyd with a good move. And he's out of bounds at the 28 yard line of the Cardinals 26 yard pickup outside receiver in the three receiver formation right there. Brandon Lloyd is going to be one on one coverage with Brandon Lloyd Patrick Peterson just a deep curl route at 20 to 25 yards off of play action pass once again. Nice completion for Sam the Bradford half of the Big Rams. What's your impression of Sam Bradford thus far coming back from the injury? Well, he's done a nice job. He's done a nice job from the shotgun 10 for 10 in the passing game from the shotgun, which allows him not to have to be on that ankle so much. Gets time and the throw outside is to Brandon Lloyd. Lloyd working against Patrick Peterson. That's been a matchup most of the game and Lloyd's done a good play job. the defensive game. Second and 12. Bradford works out of the shotgun. Off the play fake. The throw too low for Brandon Lloyd. And a flag on the play. The rookie Patrick Peterson was covering. And he gets up. Upset with a call. That would have been it was a, a great tough interception. There's third and long. Rams are three for 11 on third down conversions. Bradford puts it up deep for Brandon Lloyd. And he was out of bounds. The ball dropped. Incomplete. Good effort on the play. He was covered by Patrick Peterson. That's been a big matchup throughout the day. I'm really impressed with Peterson's coverage skills. And what I'm impressed with the most is once he locates the ball, he's able to maintain his speed. A lot of the times for a DB, when they try to locate the ball, they naturally slow down, and that's when the receiver gets behind him. But he's able to maintain his speed and make a play on the ball. Brandon Lloyd a little upset. Donnie Jones in. Omadawa knew he shifts. The play fake. Bradford with time. Puts it up deep. For Brandon Lloyd, it's way overthrown. Lloyd, that time, matched up on the other side with Patrick Peterson. Peterson is going to either side, wherever Brandon Lloyd goes. So you get a lot of isolation, one on one matchups, and just let Sam Bradford deliver the mail. Steven Jackson is a wide receiver all the way to the left on first and 10 for the Rams. That third play of empty. Look, there's nobody. You spent the whole open talking about Jackson and Lynch, and neither one of them have run the ball yet. Bradford forgets it. It'll be second down. So there's probably a way of loosening things up so that when they want to run to Jackson, he only throws one time a week in practice. On second and 13, Bradford has it. And it's going deep wide open. Touchdown, Brandon Lawrence.
I told you that combination is going to get better and better with Brandon Lloyd and Sam Bradford. They've only practiced seven times together. And he's playing tight end on this play. On first and ten, Bradford is going deep for Brandon Lloyd. No flags. And that's what's impressive about those big corners. Brandon so you, Browner in that case. Brandon Browner is 6'4", and he, he's, you know, close to 225 pounds, and he is going to turn and run with Brandon Lloyd right here. He even misses on the press. Brandon Lloyd really good at getting off the press, but that's why corners typically, and they both got their feet tangled up there with an incident. Oh. Oh. So a third and 12. Otherwise, field position will be in favor of the Seahawks once again. Bradford's throw. Oh, what a catch by Brandon Lloyd. Did he stay in bounds? Oh, yeah. He was twisting and turning. Yeah, he, he, it looked like he was able to get his knees down as he was twisting backwards. Brandon Lloyd's going to end up running an out route. This ball is let go before he even makes the cut. And see if that lower leg went down before the shoulder was out. Not first and ten. Bradford has time for Brandon Lloyd and out of bounds, intercepted out of bounds. They're going to get illegal contact or pass interference on Brandon Browner, I think, before the play or holding. One of the three. Definitely there was contact. Again for Brandon Lloyd. There's contact. There's no flag and no catch. It was Browner and Lloyd. And there's a good illustration of the size of Brandon Browner. When I say playing from a trail position, that means playing, Chris, from behind the receiver. And this ball does come out a little bit late, but look at He's trailing. He's trailing Brandon Lloyd. He's got his eyes looking at the football. The crowd can boo all they want. That's incidental contact. He's got his eyes turned back, focused on making a play on the ball. That's outstanding defense by Brown. Bradford has it. And has to throw it out of bounds. The Seahawks were ready for that. Chris Clemens putting pressure on Bradford once again. Yeah, Chris Clemens, he's he, he just been around too long. You're not going to fake him out on a third. His third catch of the game. Bradford trying to get away from the rush and does. Incomplete. Mark Clayton right in the chest. Yeah, that's Sam Bradford's arm strength. Now, Clayton's got to be able to catch that. And you never let that ball get into your body. you got to go pluck it with your hand and move yourself down the field. Pressure, Clemens comes around the back. And the pass, incomplete, intended on the other side for Brandon Lloyd. It'll be third and ten. Uh, Sheard, second round pick out of pit. A starter since week two. Plenty of time for Bradford. Steps into it. What a catch. Is he in? Yes, he is. Brandon Lloyd with the circus catch at the 45 yard line. Good for 24 and a first down. This is a fantastic route by Brandon Lloyd. Watch him here with the inside cut. Hayden gets caught with his eyes back in the backfield. Then he takes it back to the boundary. Great route. Even better catch. Four and one and fourth and one this year. Take a shot with Alexander. You got a man to man. Try to get the home run. Play action. Bradford throws it. Incomplete. <laughs> Coverage was good by Richard Sherman. As they tried to get it to Denario Alexander. But one more time, Pete Will be there. Will James Harrison be there? We'll be there. to follow Monday night. Bradford first down, long toss, flag down. As the pass intended for Denario Alexander is incomplete. St. Louis trying to take a shot down the field. I'm all for that, Mike. Got to take your shots. Jackson. Jackson had a 49-yard reception last year against Seattle. This one was 50. Rams to the red zone. Bradford fires end zone. Oh, what a play. Rick got flag. Richard Sherman. I think oh, they're going to get it from the right hand on Lloyd as he deflected with the left. This way. Pass interference. Number 25 defense in the end zone. Ball will be placed at the one yard line. Boy, we've been talking about the length. First down. Length all night long. 
Here you see Richard Sherman. He just bites a little bit on the out move, comes back to the inside, probably did wrap his arm around his shoulder. You see it right here. That's going to be called every single time. But what a play by Sherman. You can see the length of his arms, tip that ball away. It could be picking early. The Colts are likely to have the number one pick. They're going to be two teams at two wins and 11 losses, Minnesota and the Rams. St. Louis could be having the number two pick again for the fourth time in five years. One or two. Mike, you stay with Sam Bradford. You just said he was the rookie of the year a year ago. How can you evaluate this guy and what he's playing with this season? You can see he's tough. He's playing hurt. He has no players around him to show what he can do. I know there's a lot of good quarterbacks coming out, but this is the quarterback that you have to stay with and give him an opportunity when he's got all his weapons. Brandon Lloyd slipped. He slipped because he was pushed, and the flag is down. That'll uh, extend the for the Rams, close to midfield. The NFL. First and ten for Bradford. Receiver breaks open. Lloyd Bradford. catching it <laughs> at the 15-yard line. Good job by Brandon Lloyd, who's been very active tonight. It's a great job right there, competing by the Rams. Hurry up, offense. They need to get something on the board quickly. Another double move. That's about the sixth different double move. Brandon Lloyd has showed Brandon Browner tonight. There's a lot of Brandons in this game. How can you evaluate this guy and what he's playing with? How can you evaluate this guy and what he's playing with? How can you evaluate this guy and what he's playing with? How can you evaluate this guy and what he's playing with?